All right, here's another lesson video. This one's for uh, first date. It's a pretty easy song. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's not that many uh, different parts to it. Um, the only real problem I think some people may have is uh, like the stretch on the intro is a little hard. Um, but luckily for me, I got uh, pretty big hands. Um, but <clears throat> it shouldn't be too bad. Um, I'll just uh, run through each part. You can check the annotations like usual. Um, got any questions, um, feel free to ask. And yes, I am wearing an Angels and Airwaves shirt. It's one of the only clean ones I had, so don't make fun of me. All right, the intro. Um, it's just a couple different picking patterns. Um, it starts off with the five on the B string to the, uh, to the one on the B string, and it just alternates between the one on the B string and the open G string, so like this. Um, and then after uh, the one time through, once uh, when you hit the five, it just goes down to the three, to the one and the zeros, you know, like that. Um, I'll do it uh, a relatively uh, album speed, and then I'll, I'll slow it down so you can see it. slow. Alright, the, uh, I guess you can call it the verse, um, it's pretty easy. Um, it's just the, uh, the fifth fret on the G string. You just play in little triplets, so just like this. Um, Tom usually plays it live just by, uh, just keeps picking it, I think, like eighth notes or something. Um, because um, when you're playing this and you're trying to sing at the same time, it is uh, really easy to stumble on either one, the singing part or the uh, guitar part. So <coughs> usually just uh, keeps picking through the whole thing. Um, either way, it still sounds good. Um, uh, not much else to it. The uh, pre-chorus and the chorus are uh, the same chords. Um, there's just different phrasing for the chords. Um, it is a, uh, a C5. Um, whatever the hell this chord is, I don't even know what it is. It's a, uh, a 2 on the A string and then a 5 on the D string, so all you're doing is just uh, moving your index finger uh, up one fret from the uh, from the first one, so it goes and then it's an A, uh, an A5 or whatever, and then a uh, an F and then a G, so it goes like this. Like I said, it's just the same chords. Um, not much to it. I know that Tom plays it that way live, or mo like just about all the times that I've seen him play, he's just doing uh, those chords because it's easier to just uh, do that instead of playing like full chords, which does actually sound pretty decent in the chorus because uh, during the song, you can tell like it's a very full guitar sound. And even in the uh, the old tab book that I used to use when I was just starting out, it had uh, like different actual chords instead of like uh, uh, just power chords. So um, I'll try and uh, remember what they are. I think it was uh, like a full C chord or I don't know, but my guitar is out of tune. So I'm going to fix that and then I'll be right back. All right. <coughs> Couldn't actually find the tab book. But um, uh, I'm pretty sure the chords uh, were something like this. I don't actually know uh, the names of a couple of the chords, so I'll just put them in the annotations. Um, 
next part, you just play those uh, the same things that I've already stated over. Um, I think just one more time over, and then it goes to the bridge, which is pretty fun to play. And then it goes to like the second part of the bridge, and it goes like this. <laughs> first part and there's a second part. Um, uh, another thing that Tom likes to do live is uh, during like the third out of the four times for the uh, second bridge instead of going <laughs> he usually goes uh, down to the B yeah it's a B yeah it's a B so he plays uh, something like this if I can remember correctly <laughs> Um, there's not much else to the song. Um, after that, you just go back to the pre-chorus again, then go to the chorus, and then you do the chorus two times through, and then you can either continue to do the chorus, uh, keep going through for another two times, or um, you can go to the intro because it has both parts playing at once. Um, that's about it for the song. I'll play the whole thing through, and uh, hope this video helped.